Hey guys, it's Snail along here, and how's everyone doing? Today I have a Cedar Side guide, and this is kind of to go along with my uh, World Event 3 guide, also known as the Easter guide. I'll put a link up on the screen up to that now. And I've actually accumulated enough points to buy the Cedar Side, so as you might not be able to see on screen here, uh, but I have done it. I did buy it as my renown points all the way down to 16, as you can see. And the cost is 2,200, and it took me about 2 hours, and it could have been about 200,000 bonus XP in Slayer. But anyway, let's get on to the item review. So I've got the interface up on screen now, and as you can see, there's the different sections of bush seeds, flower seeds, and etc. So you can see there's different options. I'm not sure what this wishing well one is. I'll just tick that. Um, I don't know exactly what it is, but as you can see, you can toggle all on which ones it actually has effect on. To say if there was a uh, say, like I don't know, lantodime seed that might be like 8k, and you don't want to destroy it, then you can toggle that. So the th when you tick, the things that you tick are the things that you want to destroy. So basically, if you leave them unticked, then it's not going to do anything. So I think this is a really good feature that they've added. Not like the Bone Crusher. I think they should do an update like this to the Bone Crusher because the Bone Crusher at the moment just buries all bones and you should have an interface up like this so that you can toggle what bones it uh, crushes. Maybe if you're on a Slayer task you want to bury normal bones if you have a Slayer task on that and but you want to do a Dragon task or I don't know, Dragon task, yeah that'll be fine f but you don't want to waste a 4k while burying them so you select that off. So, as you can see, I've got them all toggled on now, and I think you can toggle them all off. There should be a toggle all option, as in for like every single one of them, every single category, but I guess it's fine as it is. So now let's go on to testing it. So I thought I'd come to a monster that I do know that uh, drops the seeds that I want to try and test out on. So I came down to the heal giant, seeing as I can kill them relatively quickly, and I know they have lots of uh, seed drops that are on the common, in the common table so I'll just try and kill them uh, so I'll speed the recording up for a bit so you don't have to watch me kill them all the time so it didn't actually take me that long I th believe it is this next kill that I do get the drop so you'll see it in a minute uh, look at the top right hand of my screen quickly as you can see the farming will go up to some point so that's how it works and I'll talk to you in a minute so yeah, for two hours work you get a decent pot called the Cedar Side and it is really helpful. So I can see this being very useful at Slayer Task where you perhaps don't want to pick up the seeds or maybe just leave them on the ground. And it's free farming XP, so that's great for me. So thanks for watching my Cedar Side guide. If you enjoyed this guide then be sure to leave it a like. Join my mate's friend chat, Fat Noobler, I'm always open for discussion. PM me in game, join my clan renown. My name is Snail Along, and I'll see you next time.